Hey everybody, uh, this is another video about IP cameras. Um, I have some videos on how to set up the IP cams from some of the cable providers um, and how to use them on your own network system, say after you cancel home security system. Um, but this, uh, this is a paid software. It's about $60 from Blue Iris. Uh, probably the best software that I've ever seen and it runs on your computer. You have to have a say i7 uh, processor to run this many cameras and down at the bottom right now it says I'm using 67% of my CPU power but that's because I'm doing the recording software and the video software so I'm recording this video. Normally um, on a full load I'm about 27% or so uh, running all these cameras my situation is my daughter has downs but she's older and so when she's at home i like to stay in you know in touch with her and make sure she's doing the right things not getting into trouble or starting a fire or something um so these cameras allow me to see her and i can talk to her through the mobile app the mobile app is about ten dollars you click the little microphone button and then the audio comes through whatever cameras you're using um, some of the sometimes the audio will come through the computer speakers depends on how you have them set up so I can instantly talk to her and I can hear her through the cameras so if I click on one there's my front door okay and backyard now the backyard I got the quality turned down a little bit and it's not the best camera it's probably like a one megapixel camera um, Actually, this one is a Circom IP iCamera I 2, I think. Um, so that's one of the Circoms. So it's not the best quality, but it's great because it, it works outside and it's small. Um, this one here is a Foscam. The quality is not turned up on here, but this is a, uh, a pan tilt. So you can see I can move it. Um, this one here is a D-Link, I think. I think that's a D-Link camera. It's not a very good camera. It doesn't have a wide angle, but at least I can see her if she's uh, getting into the fridge or trying to use a toaster oven or a microwave, anything like that. Um, it, it's very easy to use. It has recording features. As you can see on the side, I record... Um, all night long just to make sure no one's messing in messing around with the cars or anything like that um, here's me with the mower so enough to see what's going on in the videos now again uh, that's probably one of the cheaper ones. They do make some better cameras, so you'd want to get like a two, three megapixel camera if you really want super clarity. Um, to set them up, it's real easy. You just click the plus button, add the camera, make, uh, put in the name, turn on the audio, and then IP address, you find that out from your router. The make, here's all the cameras that they have support for. So you just click one, it, you know, it comes up with a model, okay, they only got one model. They don't have a video path, but some do, so that's where they take all the guesswork out of it for you. And there's the eye camera, um, and you can change your receive buffer. Of course, the higher the buffer, the more bandwidth you're going to use on your network. Um, the better the video is. I have mine set to like 1.5. I don't need anything better than that. Um, 1.5 to 2, 2, 2, anything over 2, I don't notice the difference. So 1.5 to 2 is what I normally use. Uh, actually, I think the kitchen's at like 1 because it's just, don't really need it that much. Um, that's about it. You, know, you can set up your audio, your trigger, so you got motion detection. Uh, actually, let's go in, say, to the kitchen here. And we'll edit the kitchen one. Video. Um, is, there's the IP address to the video 
I have it set to uh, 31 frames. I don't know why that's so high. I could actually lower that. Audio, there's no audio on this. Actually, I think there is audio on that camera. I can't remember, so we're going to turn it on. And trigger. I don't have any motion sensing software set up on this one, but there's your sensitivity. Um, your, uh, you can set if they basically, you can set up different zones, A and B, and then when you walk across from A to B, then it triggers. And that would be right in here. So if I clear, so I would make, um, say this would be A, go up here and change this to B. B. So now when they go from A to B, um, emotions detected, it triggers it. That um, takes away a lot of false alarms. I'm not going to use this. Cancel that. Turn that off. Recording. Um, recording is, uh, you know, it's always set, ready to go. But, of course, if the trigger's not on, it's not going to record. Um, you can have alerts. Okay, so you can have a push notification sent to your mobile app, uh, so it detects motion. You get a, a message almost like instantly within probably about five, five, ten seconds. Um, so it's pretty neat. A lot of stuff. Uh, Watchdog. You can basically get notifications if your camera goes offline. Um, you can get a instant message or whatever uh, from the software. So all that is set up in here. Got your users. Um, I can show you a web server because it's got my IP address and stuff in there. Um, start up. I have it running at a service, so it doesn't show that it's running on the computer, which actually saves on the CPU power. Um, you can set up your email, uh, so I'll send you an email. Your mobile devices, the ones you know, phones using the mobile app. The mobile app is ten bucks, by the way well worth it you can control your cameras you can turn them on and off you can see the recordings notifications all that good stuff so it's great software um as you can see there's tons of videos in here especially when i work outside and it detects motion um the other nice thing is that it uses my hard drive for the for the recordings and then when it gets up to be about 10 days I have it delete, you know, the oldest or whatever. So you, you can set up how much space is used on your hard drive. You could use a NAS drive if you wanted to, or external USB drive uh, if you need more space. And um, you get set up how much it records. So that's it. I've seen some videos on YouTube about Blue Iris. A lot of them looked really old, um, but this is the newer version. Um, you can even select your cameras um, down here. I can do like outside. So boom, there's all my outside ones. And then I can even do like um, a slideshow. Um, that's it, I forgot how to do that. Now there's the larger version. Yeah, now I forgot how to get rid of that. <laughs> That's funny. So you can change your view settings and all that good stuff from here. So close that frame out. Okay, now we're back. So you got a lot of different views. And you can even go to the web version of it. Um, so if this is running here, I have another computer in the other room. I can just type in the IP address to the software and it comes up with a somewhat um, shrunk down version of this I, you know, I can't control everything I can't get into the settings but I can see it on the website so you can do it from work too you could just put in the address if you don't want to do the mobile app um, yeah there's there's I want to, it's endless uh, possibilities of what you can do with this I mean there's so much thing so much stuff um, if this camera detects motion and starts recording, I can have this one start recording as well. Um, it's got some sensing add-ons uh, that you can add these devices in there that can trigger the cameras to start recording motion. Um, I've never gotten into that. It doesn't seem much 
much support on it, but it can do all that crazy stuff. Um, that's about it. I mean, that's like the main parts of the software. So if you're looking at getting some uh, recording software and you got a bunch of IP cameras, uh, check out Blue Iris. I mean, 60 bucks, it's well worth it. Um, and of course, you can zoom in. I forgot to show you that, but of course, now watch the quality is not that good. You know, it's just digital zoom, but it, it's just so easy. It's just a wheel of the mouse. Um, so again, check them out. Um, you know, see what you think. This one here, that's my Amcrest. That's my newest one. Um, there's my daughter over there popping up behind my head. So this one is a little bit better. So again, the quality is um, turned down on a lot of these. Oops, what happened there? Yeah, something's wrong with my mouse. It's been doing that to me. There it goes. So I'll zoom back out. Okay, so that's about it. Um, so if you have any questions, just uh, just uh, send me a little message below, and I'll get back to you when I can. See ya.